It is time for revolution. But first, we, we're gonna have to install Forge, so here's how to do it. You go on YouTube, you search Climb B, and on the description of this video, I have zero likes. What? Smash the like button, guys, please. Zero likes is kind of depressing. Anyways, if you go on the description, you're gonna find my mod bag. You're gonna, you're gonna click on it, click the download button, ads, we hate ads. Uh, but yeah, the mod pack is downloading. Uh, we're gonna search for Minecraft 1.8.9, we're gonna go here. Any of them, just click on the installer in any of the versions. It's the same thing, it's gonna open this ad focus ad. And after 5 seconds, you're gonna see on the top right there, that there is gonna be a skip button. You're gonna press it, to skip all the ads, and boom, the forge thing is installing. Alright, so the first thing you gotta do is you're gonna go to your Minecraft client, either Minecraft launcher, or just the launcher, whatever. Um, and you're gonna launch 1.8.9. Alright, if you've already launched Minecraft 1.8.9 before, you can just close it, it's fine. So you're gonna go to your downloads folder, uh, and you're gonna click on forge installer.jar, uh, and you're gonna click OK. Alright, so what this does, it creates the forge uh, client on the on your computer. So if you go to app data, percentage, app data percentage, uh, you're going to go to your .minecraft folder, and you're going to find the mods folder. And we're going to drag the .var file into the mods file. You're going to extract the folder, extract here, there's going to be all the mods, you can delete the var. If you're on T-Launcher though, there is this thing, there is this button that will take you to the exact same place. And there it is, the Forge version, and you just enter the game. Alright, and if you see this uh, loading image with now the anvil and stuff, that means you did everything correctly and your Minecraft should open without issues. And boom, perfect. You have installed Minecraft modded Forge, uh, whatever. Yay, you can now do stuff. Well, now with your new mods, you can do slash patcher to customize all your all your patcher settings. You can do slash essential um, to like do all your essential stuff. Now it does have like cosmetics like these, uh, but you can't do them on PK Network because you know it's a cracked server. There is also zoom from Optifine, of course. You can change the zoom in your... I think in your patcher settings you can change the zoom like this. Um, there's also other ways to change the zoom. Smooth zoom animation. Sure. Yay, <laughs> now it's smooth zoom animation. Just like in Lunar. See? This has very... A lot of features similar to Lunar. But yeah, you, you can mess around, you can... Change that. There's also slash animations. Uh, to do the 1.7 animations, these are my settings. Um, you can change that however you want. Uh, there is also the slash TC, time changer. It changes the time, you can see the sky. I can look at the sky, just, at, just so you can see a little bit better. You can change it uh, however you want. And there is also slash potion effects, or potion HUD. I mistyped it. Slash push and HUD, you can like change the effects that you want enabled, disabled, if you want it on normal numerals, if you want to change its size, uh, you can change a lot of stuff here. Uh, anyways, that's my mod pack. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, um, download it. Be careful about where you install and execute. And yep, yeah, have a nice day.